What is up everyone? How is it going to everyone out there in the Builder Dude Nation? Today is a very special day for all of us because on this day, February 15th, 2021, this is the sixth birthday of my YouTube channel, Builder Dude 35, the six year anniversary where I publish this video, quickest way to program an FLL robot or car steering. To celebrate this monumental occasion, the sixth birthday of my YouTube channel, I'm going to rewatch my very first tutorial and we're gonna see how does it hold up six years later now I know I had been publishing videos before February 15th 2015 but I consider this video as the start of my YouTube channel because this is the first video that started the brand of builder dude 35 robotics tutorials as we know them today of course when I started the YouTube channel at the time I didn't even really think about starting a YouTube channel it wasn't even something I thought about I was just making a video and then eventually that video got kind of popular and I decided to make more. You might be noticing there's a little bit of a change of scenery today and that's because I'm recording this video from my actual dorm room here at MIT which is super duper exciting. Without further ado, let's roll the clip. All right then, here goes nothing. Oh, of course, I get an ad on my own video. It's, all, it's always so weird just getting ads on my own videos but I, this is a not, not a skippable one. Oh, Lexus. YouTube ads know me very well. I do like Lexus quite a bit. Hey, here we go. Alright, Builder Dude, if you if you say so. Oh, the old the old um blueprint intro that I made in Microsoft Paint. Also works with NXT. I'm so glad, um, so glad to note that. This. That was back when FLL participants were using both EB3s and NXTs. Young Kyle had such a squeaky turn. voice. I just, and just want to go and pinch his cheeks, tell him what a superstar he is. Uh, Chief, I hate to break it to you, but that's in like 140p. I really can't see what you're pointing the camera at. This is back when I was using a, a potato camera, because of course my first video, I didn't have anything else. If we're being honest, the, the 4x3 aspect ratio just makes it look a little bit more vintage, you know? It's period correct. Oh no, this is before I learned how to use actual screencast software. Oh, get OBS, dude. Please get OBS. I will say that the information in this is, is pretty good. Even if, you know, the presentation's not great. I was a sophomore in high school at the time, I think. No, a freshman in high school, actually. So I didn't know any of this. I had to figure out all this on my own. Oh no no! Don't go vertical. Just zoom out. And as you can see, that went exactly where we wanted to go. Yeah. Now that's part one of three. Part one of three. How much time do you think I have, Kyle? But wait, there's more. I'd also love to point out that this is like the first earliest version of Sirius, my FLL robot design that I made for the EV3. Um, actually it hasn't changed much since then, I've just made some extra refinements and I don't think this one has the dog gear system yet, maybe? I think I added that later. Ah, uh, you can see the reflection of the potato cam. Of course I also didn't have a microphone, so this is back when I was using a Campbell's soup can as a microphone. Yeah, you enter that value. And then you're going to turn on motor C because that's the outside wheel. You only want the outside wheel to turn. Yeah, you now bet it is. 
I love the nerf dart obstacle course too. It actually works pretty well for what it was. Woo! I'm actually I'm actually impressed with 14 year old Kyle. That that 90 degree was pretty solid. I gotta say I gotta hand it to him. And it took me years before I would figure out how to do a solid 90 degree turn like that with the gyro. So. No, you're gonna hit one of those cones. Oh no, what have you done? That's 10 points on your driver's test right now. All right, I hadn't actually taken my driver's test at the time. That wouldn't come for like another two or three years, I think. Negative 900. Again, you know, classic back of the computer, you know. Little did I know that, you know, just writing code on the computer would just become my entire life, <laughs> like the rest of my career. Who knew? I just kicked something over. I'm actually kind of like waiting in anticipation. I want to see if this actually works. I still have the same wood floor and the same carpet in my, my childhood bedroom, by the way. I spent a lot of time there during quarantine, so. Let's see it. Oh, we cleared the first gate. Oh. Beautifully. Mm. I don't know about beautifully. That 90 degree wasn't quite as crispy as I would have liked it. Uh, at this point, I'd probably be telling myself to go back to the drawing board and you know, refine that a little bit. Yeah, it's not an exact measurement. I will say though, the reasoning behind this video and like the topic I was teaching is rock solid. Like, this is like kind of still how I would do it today. And yeah. Yeah. Well, what if I don't get the point? Show me it working exactly. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, it's the the good old what what is this? Is this the uh, the Thunder Smart Muon actually? It was the six wheel drive version of the Thunder Smart I made while I was a youngster, first year of high school. I was proud of this. But, uh, so I guess it's like a like a YouTuber technical note. This is like. This almost feels unrelated to the rest of the video, but I know why I included it, because technically it's the same technique. Knowing what I know about YouTube now, I would actually make these two separate videos. So one part of the video for the FLL robot as its own video, and then revisiting it for car steering as its own video. So that people looking for each topic separately, because no one wants to do both of them, right? They're two distinct groups of people. So that they can find the video that's just about what they want to learn about. Oh. What is that? Windows Movie Maker text transition? I like how I keyed in people for the the next, uh, oh, and of course the end screen. That was back when YouTube supported annotations, so you could actually click on any of these buttons here and it would actually do something, but YouTube got rid of that in like 2015. And that's another ad. Yeah, I get lots of car ads on my videos, so... I like cars, what can I say? So yeah then, guys, that was the video. Quickest way to accurately program an FLL robot or car steering. And I'll, I'll just record my initial reaction. So I will say I actually really enjoyed watching that video. It's cool in like kind of a vintage way and it's like seeing where I first started and like honestly it wasn't nearly as cringy as I was expecting or fearing that it would be. Um, so I will say of course presentation is not there. Um, it's in like that 4x3 letterbox and it's not an HD camera, it's like 360p or 480p or something, like standard definition, it's not very good. Uh, and uh, like I said before, I was basically just using like a red solo cup with a fishing line attached to it as a microphone. So presentation is not like perfectly polished, but I used what I had and I didn't have anything fancy at the time. But in terms of the actual content, like the information that's in there, you know, that's pretty good. Like if you were a young FLL kid and, and didn't know this technique, you'd probably learn something really valuable from this. And I can see why that when people watched this six years ago, even though the quality wasn't good, 
people enjoyed it and they were like, hey, this is kind of cool, this is useful, and they came back for more and they encouraged me to make more videos. And this is like the start of the Builder Dude 35 YouTube tutorial franchise, so to speak. Yeah, if I could meet 14 year old Kyle again, I'd give him a nice pat on the back and pinch his cheeks and, uh, um, I, I don't know what else. I feel like an old boomer now. Again, though, just pleasantly surprised with the video and I'm, you know, kind of glad I filmed this reaction video. And it's really cool to see how much my video content has grown over the years in terms of production quality, but also the presentation and even just like content and, you know, all those things. But remember, everyone has to start somewhere. And all of you young whippersnappers watching my videos might say like, how did Builder Dude get to 25,000 subscribers and remember that the journey of a thousand miles or 1,608 kilometers starts with one step and this was that one step that got me on this journey so don't be afraid to start if you're just if you just need to start out this whole video was really just meant to be something very special for you guys, my subscribers who are here watching every single video I make, kind of like a little gift to celebrate just how far we've gone. And if you watched this way through the video, I mean, thank you so much because you're one of the real ones. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, let me know. And um, you know, I'll be making more videos, so stick around. Thanks guys.